Hi. Up to him, Murray. Count, Scott. Tell me not to. What? Norm said. What, 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 mate? What, what did Norm say? He said, no, I've got to wait till Dad gets here. Uh, Tom, are, are you listening, mate? You've, you've got to listen you to me. You mustn't open the presents, yeah. Have a drink of water, mate. Have a cool down. Put your head up, mate. Yeah, that's right. Have a drink. Well, Terry. Yeah, yeah I'm here, mate. It's all right. <sighs> Some of them just go away in their heads. And never come back. Oh, she's she's wonderful, Dad. You know, there's there's not many people that can do the sort of things that she does, like running a shop and everything. Oh yes, Alice is a very capable young woman. Yeah, and she knows things too, like the like the difference between a, a drop kick and a punt. <laughs> What a thrilling evening for Alice, my little brother, in the grand final. Well, he's just better than you, talking about doctors and that stupid creep Richard when he was hanging around. Jeffrey? Now, I don't know how Alice can put up with a little kid like you hanging around all the time, making a nuisance of himself. Oh, yeah? Well, if I'm such a nuisance, why'd you invite me to the flick specialist? She probably felt sorry for oh, you. Oh, now, now, now. Come on, you two. That's enough. Now, listen. It's time that you were getting ready for bed, young man. And, Kitty, have that warm up some milk, and then we'll all be ready for an early start in the morning. Come on, Tommy, you gotta help me, mate. <laughs> it hurts. No, mate, it doesn't hurt. It's only a wet rag. It's not hurting. My skin hurts. Tom, we've got to get your temperature down, don't you understand? It's the only way. Look, you're gonna help me whether you like it or not, mate. <laughs> Tom! Get up! Tom! Terry! <laughs> help me with your mate, help me! It's a bit cook. Hmm? No Easter eggs this year. Why not? Owing to wartime priorities. Don't see what Easter eggs have got to do with the war. All the chocolate's going to the troops, I suppose. Yeah, didn't you get hmm? this letter from Mum? I didn't know it was there. <laughs> oh, Sorry, I've known it there. Oh, read it about himself. Here we go. Dear Dave, Kitty and Jeff, I've just come from the hospital and so excited I had to tell you at once. John is fully conscious at last. I was there when he woke, and you can't imagine. I knew it. I knew it, Dad. It's all right. It's going to be all right. Now, hang on. He's conscious. <laughs> but that may not be all there is to it. Well, what else does Mum have to say? Um, you can't imagine what it meant, watching him take the first meal he's had in a long time. He's still very weak, of course, and so thin. But he knows me. We still seem to be far away to him, and it's as if he's remembering back a hundred years. But I know it's going to be all right. Yeah, well, what did I say? Well, at least he's conscious. Once they start taking their first meal, it's amazing how quickly they recover. Oh, I don't know whether we should count that much, love. Dad, I see it every day. I know it. Well, I suppose you would. <gasps> now, where was I? Uh, I can't tell you very much here, of course, but I'm writing it all into my diary so that one day you'll be able to read it and know everything that's happened. The other night, we had the first air raid in months. It was a terrifying experience. Thank God this isn't home and that you're all safe. My love to you all and I pray we'll be back with you soon. God bless your loving mum. I thought the bombing had finished. Oh, apparently they're still having the occasional raid, love. 
Dead. Anne's going to be all right, isn't she? Yeah, of course she is. Yes, Anne. She's going to be fine. 